the next type is called as a t type it is also immersed type of floating head like the one we have seen in case of s type of heat exchanger but here the difference is that here there is no backing device the tube sheet will extend as a flange the tube sheet itself will extend as a flange and the floating head will be having a flange so it will be getting tightened with one another and this entire assembly can be removed but what is the disadvantage of this t type over s type the basic disadvantage is that since we are extending this tube sheet itself as a flange so uh, it has to be far away from the outside tube limit which is called as a otl so in case of s type of head the floating tube sheet od and the otl will be having very uh, minimum gap between them or the clearance is very minimum but in this type of head you can see that uh, it is far away from the extreme most tube so it is far away and because of this construction the shell id has to be more than this tube sheet od so unnecessarily the shell id will also be increased unnecessarily the entire shell id will be unnecessarily increased and here the dead zone will be provided or here the dead zone will be there so more sealing strips will be required to divert the flow so it is not that compact as compared to the s type because it is having a larger gap provided over here to incorporate the tube sheet to extend as a flange so that's the reason why from the outermost tube till the tube sheet od the gap is much more and because of this the shell id also need to be increased unlike in case of the other type what we have seen is a s type so what was there so if we have a look at over here from the outermost tube till the tube sheet od the distance is very minimum the distance was very minimum and if you can look at the tube sheet od and shell id there is a very thin gap between so here the shell entire id will be lesser only on this side we can increase the diameter to incorporate this assembly but if we extend tube sheet itself as a flange so this id we have to maintain for entire shell if we have to remove or if we have to move this entire assembly isn't it so if we have to uh, move all this entire assembly if we have to move all this entire assembly the shell dimension has to be more than this od so here unlike the floating head type where this side will be having lesser shell id and only on the right side will be a higher id it will be having higher id throughout the cross section and from the tube od till this or uh, outermost tube to the od of the tube sheet you can see a large gap is there so there are more dead uh, dead uh, places also there for the heat transfer so the more uh, sealing strips needs to be provided uh, to increase the heat transfer so now let's have a look at this t type of construction how it will look like it is very simple as compared to that s type because there is no splittering over here there is a tube sheet attached to the tubes then there is a floating head both are having the flange flange construction so it will be easily going to be tightened against each other and here there will be a gasket so whenever there is a high temperature or high pressure so this entire assembly is going to be float or it is going to be move towards right and whenever the temperature is dropping down it will again regain its original position and there is a gap between the tube sheet od and the shell id so there is no interconnection in between these two so it can freely expand so there won't be any thermal stresses which are developed because of the interlocking of shell side and tube side so this is very easy construction but the disadvantage is that the gap is much more the shell id has to be increased not only shell id since the flange id is increased flange thickness will also be on the higher side for this type of construction and this entire head assembly can be removed from other side so it will be causing you higher shell diameter and hence higher cost as compared to the s type so this is pull through type of a floating head it is also called as the immersed type of a floating head like s type but it is pull through and it was with backing device so let's have a look at the construction of this t type of that is pull through type of floating head so you can see we are going to untie these nuts and then the shell cover is going to remove then the entire assembly will look like this this is gasket on shell side so as we are going to untie it there is only a gasket over here 
करेक्ट दिस इज पास पार्टीशन गैसकेट इन बिटवीन एंड दिस इज पास पार्टीशन प्लेट सो दिस गैसकेट विल बी गेटिंग कॉम्प्रेस बिटवीन दिस ट्यूब शीट एंड द हेड और फ्लोटिंग हेड this pass partition is going to compress the gasket over here simple construction there is no backing device but the shell diameter will be on the higher side the gap between the outermost tube till the tube sheet od will be much higher so the effectiveness of the heat exchanger will be lesser 